What's going on everybody? My name is Haley Cairo. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, I'm the founder of May Movement, an empowering lifestyle brand where we encourage you guys to better yourselves so that way you can better others through things like organization, productivity, health, and wellness. And if you are not familiar with our May Movement bracelets, got them on right here. They are handmade by our women artisans in Nepal and they receive a fair trade wage, sustainable income, and a safe working environment. It is part of my passion project and I would love for you guys to check it out. So I will have May Movement's website down below. You know how many questions I get about my planners? A lot. I love routines. I love seeing other people's routines. I just think it's fascinating. I love seeing just habits of different individuals and what makes them function and perform to their highest potential. So I'm gonna share with you guys my new and improved, cause it's awesome, highly productive morning routine, planning routine. It's a routine in the morning that keeps me organized. But before we get into that video, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications because it really means a lot to me. <sighs> These planning videos are also a series, so you don't wanna miss out, so subscribing is key. You guys can also check me out over on the Instagram. Actually, wait, I think it's over here. Instagram, Snapchat, fun stuff. Okay, okay, so I'm sure you guys are all like, Haley, what is this magical routine of yours? I'm also gonna be doing a supplemental morning routine. That's gonna go more into like everything that I do before this other planning routine and after it. So it's like the whole morning. This is specifically the planning portion. So I like to call this my power hour. What's a power hour, Haley? Let me tell you. One of the best habits of successful people is to fill their cup first thing in the morning. What that means is that you're not filling other people's cups. You are being selflessly selfish, meaning that you're taking care of things that are going to help you perform better and treat others better. So at the end of the day, it's a win-win for everybody. So how do I fill my cup in the morning? The first thing that I do is read my devotional. Currently, I am reading the Jesus Always Call, not Jesus Always Calling. Jesus Calling is another book, but Jesus Always is the newest one out of that whole series. And then I am doing my November scripture challenge. If you guys are not already doing that, it's not too late, you can always start. I have a free printout for you guys with all of the scriptures, all about gratitude and thankfulness. And I am doing a hashtag made grateful so you guys can join in on the combo. I do my devotional, I pray, and I get centered and focused on God's will for my life and for that day. The second thing that I do, I have a daily journal. It's a Bloom Academic Planner. It has a week per two pages and it's perfect for me. It doesn't make me feel anxious to write novels every time I want to journal. I just write down things that happened that day and it's also a creative outlet for me because I don't use a lot of like decorative stickers anymore in my planners. So that is somewhere where I can kind of use those and I still get that like fun creativeness with washi tape and stickers. It's also kind of fun to do it for memory keeping because on the month pages I can write down events and it's just like a fun little way to keep track of what I'm doing for the year. Then I do a gratitude journal. So I love Corey Speaker. She is the reset girl on YouTube and on Instagram. She has an amazing company. It's God centered and she's just so empowering and I love following her different prompts. So I've been trying to get more into her kind of creative gratitude journaling. So I've been doing that. I use a 2017 Sugar Paper LA planner. I don't really care that there's dates on there. They're pretty faint anyway. So I pretty much go over them, but I love that planner. It's really pretty. And that is what I am using. If you're not sure how to start a gratitude journal, I'm still getting used to it because sometimes I'm like, okay, what's a new thing that I'm grateful for today? But if you, the more you do it, the more you realize what you're grateful for. And it's even more useful sometimes to do it at night after the day's already happened. And you can, you know, count your blessings that way. So if this works better for you at night, be my guest, do it at night. But I like to at least start off the day thinking positively. When we're focused on gratitude, especially first thing in the morning, it helps us to give our best to our work, our school, our loved ones, and it just makes us feel more positive. Then after I am done my gratitude journal, I usually, depending on the day, if I have the time, I like to read something that is for personal development. Currently, I'm reading Brendan Bouchard's Habits of High Performers. Oh my gosh, guys, this is the best book ever. I've talked about it so much on Instagram. Not only is it applicable to like your work and your goals in like a success mindset, but just as an overall person, he's helped me already with anxiety and just like personal things things that like I was neglecting. I can't say enough good things about it. If you want like an in-depth review, I'd be glad to do one, but I do that and like I journal while I read it because there's like prompts and questions and stuff. So if I have time for that, 
I do that. I try to do at least two chapters of that per week. Then once I'm done with the journaling, I move on to the more functional planning aspect. So if I don't really have a clear idea of what I need to do, I always kind of read through my planners and kind of see where I was the day before. And then I do a brain dump on a scratch piece of paper. And from that information, I can then delegate different tasks to my planners. So I have the Law of Attraction Planner, which I'm gonna be doing a full setup and review on for you guys because I'm really liking it so far. And that's like my goals, my work and like my day-to-day -day tasks. I also have a Bloom Vision Planner, which is more like my family planner, events, personal things that I need to take care of, and then I have a bullet journal, which is just like creative brain dumping lists and things like that. I also wanted to mention behind the bullet journal is a notebook for Wetterspoon for different ideas, as well as another academic planner from Bloom. I just use an Erin Condren um, like rubber band to keep it inside of the planner. So it's like a Midori Traveler's notebook, but I just use this to track my sleep, mood, weigh-ins, my macros, basically how I'm coming in on my cut, anything health related. I also go on to Trello, which is an organization app that I have. It's, I can use it on a desktop, you can use it on a phone, but it's a digital planner and really smart system. I'm going to be talking about that in my favorite organization apps for life video that's coming out next week. So you guys stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. But I double check my Trello with my planners. I keep my schedule and to-do list for Wetterspoon on there, which is a company that I manage their photos and their social media. And then I check out my Trello board for my videos because sometimes I need to create scripts or figure out what to do. Then once all of that is done, I do my release trigger. And this is something that I've learned from Brendan's book. When you're going from different stages of your day or different tasks to help you focus and center yourself, I do a release trigger where I literally say release out loud five times, breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth slowly. So release. This helps me to transition into my next tasks with ease and feeling refreshed and like I have a clean slate. So that was my morning planning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the products or specifics about some of the prompts that I was telling you guys about, please leave me a comment and give this video a thumbs up if you want more videos like this because this is one of my favorite things to do videos on. But as always, click that subscribe button, follow along on social media, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.